the fighter to my right, fighting out of the B2 Digital Blue Corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 150 pounds. He is an old school jujitsu fighter from Harvey, Illinois, representing G2 Jose Perez. And his opponent to my left, fighting out of the Triton Funds red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and he weighed in at 155 pounds. He is a BJJ fighter from Louisville, Kentucky. Nick Muffin. Nick almost scoffed at the description of him being yeah. a BJJ fighter. He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah. I, me? Ooh, me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Whatever you want to say. I describe Nick Maupin as he'll say, I'll fight him. Yeah. Just about anybody. He is the he'll I'll just, fight him. He'll, he'll just fight whoever, he whenever. Will. We're going to push kick there. Hard punches being thrown right now by Jose yeah. Perez. Trying to lock underneath those hips. Can't tell if he's got it locked up from here. Yeah, it might have been punches behind the head there. Good choke being applied right now. Very deep. Guillotine's got to be careful with that right now. A little bit too high to get it right now, but it is a pretty tight guillotine at this point. He's got to be careful with it. He said he's an old school BJJ guy. I happen to know Nick Maupin is not a big fan of tapping under any circumstances. No. He would usually rather go to sleep than tap out. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job of popping his head out right there. Okay. Now his opponent's dropping in. Looks like he's got locked underneath the hips. This could be bad right now for Nick. Perez is a blanket. Nick does have those long legs. Yeah. Okay. So as much as we joke about his jiu-jitsu, he's good when it involves strikes. And I see blood from somebody. I can't see who that is so far. It looks like there's some blood on, on the like neck between, and stars. Between the eyes of Perez, maybe? Mm -hmm. Didn't really see how it happened. But yeah. Very difficult position when you got his leg trapped like that. Nick needs to use that cage to stand up right there. He's got to be careful to get that head and arm trap right now. Oh, he's getting his back. Nick needs to work to get his back flat against that cage and work to pressure up against it. Yeah, Perez is just all over Nick right now. You see how he's weaving those arms in between his legs right there? There's nothing you can do when your legs are all twisted up. Nick's trying to throw elbows from the bottom. Doing a good job, perfect yeah. right now. Turning into his opponent. Good job. And that is the eye of Perez that's cut. Okay, now what I'd like to see Nick keep doing right now, lift that underhook and try and get out on that. Oh, oh if he, he's got to be careful, he can pull that leg, and that could be a very dangerous move. Watch him go to the trap. Watch the trap. Perez is working on that top side control. Yeah, doing a good job of just dominating position and punching yeah. when he can. Mm -hmm. just exactly. He's not being too over aggressive. He's not forcing anything. He's just taking position and waiting for something to open up. Very calculated by Perez. And Maupin tried to shrimp out. Got to a guard. Yeah, punching up off of his back. Now kick. a kick from the bottom. That's what I would say. is unorthodox as Nick yeah. Maupin. He keeps putting him himself, does Nick? Happens where he, he gets twisted up with his legs. Really preventing him from mount any kind of offense where he can get back to his feet. Yeah. You know, it's it, he would just rather punch. Yeah, I mean, punching's great, but you got to yeah. make it to where you can get off the, your back if, if need be. Oh, right into the mount position right now. He's really got to work to get out of this spot. Moppin doing a good job of not just staying stationary. Trying to get over hooks right now. He's really got to be careful trying to trade punches from the bottom. Minute left. 
He's actually doing a pretty effective job right there. But and you hear Coach Phil Perkins in the course hand. Grab him. Hold him. Don't Still got him. a minute left. This is a bad position to be in. He's got to start bucking. You have to give up your back in this position if you have to. Yeah. Give up the back and work from there. Learn how to get out from that spot. He's actually doing a good job of not taking he damage. He's, I mean, being, he's, he's being very sporadic. He's just, being awkward his, enough. Yeah, yeah, awkward, awkward enough, awkward is, enough is a good way to describe it. Oh, uh, now he's got the arm trap. Oh, good job now. He's got to keep trying to – he cannot get flying out. He's got to mule kick one of those legs out of possible. Oh, he's in serious trouble right now. Good job by giving – man, he, he's, he's proven very difficult to finish from this yeah. spot. 18, uh, oh, he's got the head and arm triangles. Is that what he's got right? I can't really. See. Oh, Bobby got the leg grab. his own leg to try That's to pull. That's a beautiful move right there. Especially with ten seconds, you're not gonna get that. Maupin does not want to let this fight end in the first round. Wow. Phil Perkins and Nathan Pierce in there with their teammate Nick Maupin. Yeah. You know, that might have been a 10-8 round even okay. for Perez. Yeah. Perez did dominate that round via yeah. position. Yeah. Uh, credit goes to Nick Maupin for surviving the round. Absolutely, man. I mean, he was in a lot of bad positions, and he did a great job of getting out. Yeah, he they receive Perez just holding onto that mount. Moppin just rolling with the punches, able to avoid most of the damage there. And look at Jose Perez is still bouncing around, fired up, ready to go. Just as animated as he was before the fight started. Yeah. There is a variable with someone like Nick Maupin who's li liable to do anything. Yeah, you, you know, there's always know. a chance something wild could happen with him in there, despite Jose Perez uh, uh, dominating this fight thus far uh, via uh, position and grappling. Yeah. For the most part, Perez is doing all the right things. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, he is a crafty guy, isn't he? He's he trying is. yeah. so unorthodox. Yep. Trying to get that arm lock. He's got it kind of caught up in a bad way right now. Perez in a little bit of trouble right now. Oh, good uh, job of getting out, Perez. He just stayed relaxed. Yeah. And now he's back to the mount position. This is a little frustrating sometimes when you have dominant position, you're looking yeah. to get the finish, and the guy's being so tough and, and, and crafty, widely not getting submitted. It's frustrating. Yeah, I'm doing everything right and still not being able to do what I want to do. Right now, we got to, uh, Perez has got to be careful being a little bit too high. Yeah, if you're... If you're you're Nick, you want to just try and get your hips up high and bounce. Try and knock your opponent uh, looks off. Looks like Perez is going to reach for this arm bar as Moppin's coming out. Oh, yeah. So Moppin's got to know that's coming right there. Perez is just active. See, what I'd like to see Nick Moppin do is mule cook that right leg out, come around on the inside so you can end up on top yeah. without getting triangle jumped. We got to do something here. Yeah, I mean. We can't just sit here. Especially, you know, if you're Nick, you had to start moving because you're probably losing this round. Yeah. But it's very difficult when this guy's got you twisted up like this. Yeah, and Moppin's in a, a bit of a weird position here. Yeah, I mean, he's got his arms trapped and his head trapped. He can't yeah, just pop it out. We, yeah, what are we going to do? Now Moppin's out. He's got to be careful about not turning into a triangle or something here. Or giving up a knee bar. Who knows yeah. what's on his back? 
This is where he's a wild card. Against yeah. Him, throwing some crazy elbows and stuff. Mopping the banter of the triangle that here. That triangle position right now, but doing the right thing is Nick Moppins. He's sitting yeah, up. If you posture. if you sit into this, it makes it much yeah, more he difficult. He starts to come down now. He's losing his posture. He started with the good posture. Yeah. yeah. He knew what he was doing there, but Perez has a very good submission game. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Moppin. Moppin's talking back to his corner. Good job right now. That's exactly what he can. If he can, he'd like to get that right there and land some heavy strikes. Arm bar attempt right now. So as he pulls the arm bar attempt, that gives you the triangle. You're trying to pull the head down. Nick trying to pull it out. You got to be very careful here because if you don't get triangled, you get arm barred sometimes. Nick Moffman is but, tough as nails I mean, if he gets out of this round. Perez is just oh, all over I don't know if he's going right to. Now. now he's going to be in some serious trouble. Nick Moffman has got to find a way. He can't see what he's going for right here. Yeah, we're at a bad angle. I mean, Nick's head is clearly trapped. He's got him in a good triangle right there. Is he yeah. going to get out? <laughs> Some, I don't know he's, how. He's, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's Nick Maupin. He's a dog. <laughs> oh, he comes out on top right now. Oh. My goodness. Where's the clock? How uh, much time? I haven't uh, seen it in a yeah, while. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if Maupin's able to make Perez pay. Uh-oh. You don't see too many times when they're sitting on the guy's yeah. head and maybe a good knee bar to go. Nick tried there. for a big yeah. elbow there. Uh, Perez moved. Very savvy defense there. Yeah, that was a good try. I think he, he dodged a big elbow. Nathan Pierce, Blake O'Neill, Phil Perkins right next to where uh, uh, Perez and Nick Maupin are at right now, giving him a lot of instruction. Ten seconds left. Uh, you can tell how tired Nick Muppins is right now. You he, see those punches? He spent 10 minutes just fighting off. Exactly. He spent a lot of time fighting out of submissions, fighting out of bad spots. That's so tiring. You might get out of him, but you have to take a breath. Every time he takes to take a breath, Jose Perez throws on another submission. It's got to be a little frustrating for yeah, Perez. Yeah, very frustrating. Absolutely. We've all been there where you think you got a submission. You're like, I got this, I got this, and then no, you don't. There's yeah. nothing worse than when you get in those positions and you spend everything you got trying to get that submission and you don't get it. Your arms are dead. You're looking down at them like, why won't you do what I said? They're like, no, I'm not, I can't, you know. That being said, Perez is winning 2 0. I uh, couldn't agree more. I mean, he's yeah. dominating the fight. He might yeah. be up 10 8 on Correct. one of those yeah. rounds. No, yeah. no doubt Moppin has to finish the fight. No doubt. Uh, yeah. I mean, look at Perez. Perez dude, is just, animated from before yeah. the he fight just, all the way through. I mean, and, and Moppin's in the, uh, not quite the same look over here. Nope. He's thinking, oh, Jesus, one more round. Can't Smiling. We, can't yeah. we just call the day? <laughs> no. Good uppercut. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they were coming from way downtown. You can, yeah. you can see he's kind of desperate right now. Mop, oh, good drag down, but he just pulled him right on top. Oh, Nick Moppin tried to go for a guillotine there for a moment. Uh, good hips from Perez. Well, and what we were talking about, Nick knows he's down 2 nothing. He has to do something big yeah. if he wants to try and win. He's going, uh, not necessarily for Hail Marys right now, but he's trying stuff he probably wouldn't normally try. See if Moppin's swinging under for this arm bar. Yep, yep, yep. Feel desperately calling for elbows from Nick Moppin. Even from the bottom. Yeah. Well, well you got to do something. You're on yeah, bottom. Yeah, and that's what Nick Moppin does. I love it because he knows his fighter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what that's what Nick does. Yeah, forget it. He makes it ugly. He, he dazes his opponent. What do they say? You take a, a, a black belt down to a brown belt yeah. with a nice yeah. elbow to the yeah. face. Or, you know, uh, uh, if that's your game is submissions, which it is for Perez, Nick Moppin is doing one of the, the parts to beating that correctly and he's surviving yeah. now he's got to make it ugly and try to get out from under the bottom and do some damage 
He's got to make it. Oh, he's got a good armbar attempt right there. He does have those long legs, yeah. and he has a lot of submission wins. Perez doing a good job of stacking. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs to do. Put that pressure right there on his opponent. He needs to start throwing some punches right now to Nick's head to kind of get him yeah. out of this position. The head starting to come out. Perez using the chin to force his head out of. Nick Moppin throwing punches. Good job by Perez by yeah. getting back in position. He almost had it there for a second. <laughs> you got to think that Perez would let that arm break at this point. <laughs> yeah, he's like, man, eh, it'll, it'll get better in a couple yeah. months. Wow. Oh, I mean, you've got to be impressed with Nick after all, yeah. all the just dominating positions and all the different problems he's had to deal with to still come up with an almost submission right there. Yeah. A lot of times when you have a, a submission game like Perez does, you also have real good submission defense. Yeah. Absolutely. But you know what? When you're in a fight and you're tired, yeah, okay. that changes things a Some little bit. Some variables <laughs> there, huh? You're like, how did we end up here? I'm dominating. No, you're not right now. Looks like Maupin's got the arm of Perez trapped in his half guard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was, unorthodox. Yeah. He was taking a lot of body shots. He goes, I'm going to stop that right now. Yeah. Of course, you're not winning the fight. You have to really do something right there. You got two minutes. You got to make it work. You have to get a finish here. Nick's, Nick's always throwing the hammer fists from the bottom and all sorts of. He's trying to, Nick's trying to throw an elbow from the bottom. Well, I know we've seen uh, Nico Hernandez, or not Nico Hernandez, Nico, is it Nico Hernandez? No. No, no, it's a boxer. Uh, Nico Price from yeah. UFC okay. laid yep. some heavy yeah. hammer fists from the bottom and win some fights, stop yeah. his opponents. Very rare, but it's happened sometimes. Yeah. I think you have to be kind of g genetically gifted to be able to do that. Uh, it's not in my tool bag. <laughs> not in my wheelhouse either. <laughs> we saw Jacob Wharf with an impressive win Yeah. Uh, off his back throwing some strikes for HRMMA recently. Mopping as a half guard, I believe. Uh, yeah, and, and, and Perez is doing a good job trapping that arm. But, oh, Mopping's just being a very skilled veteran right now. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> Trying to uh, land. <laughs> it's a, a Hail Mary, but he'll throw it. I mean, you're not going to coast in this fight. No, ever. He's, he's going to fight from the beginning to the end. Mopping's going to, he, he will try to kill you. He's killer be killed. I don't want to fight either of these guys. No. Perez doing a good job there, passing the legs. Absolutely. Avoid in the Perez with the forearm right in the neck. Yeah. Nick Moppin. Trying to maybe some Von Flew pressure there. Almost into the jaw, not quite the neck. Oh, he's going to try and get that. He's going to try to walk over for that arm Good triangle. job by Nick right now to try and push that arm in to make it to where his opponent cannot get that submission. Answering the phone just like he's supposed to. Wow. What a fight, man. What a fight. <laughs> Went the distance. Convincing win for Jose Perez. Yeah. yeah. Um, Nick Maupin. Yeah. Hat goes off to Nick Maupin absolutely. for making it the distance. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And at one point, almost looking like maybe he was going to pull off a, an arm bar. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we mentioned before the fight, don't count out the guard of Nick Maupin, and uh, he almost pulled it off.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, the judges have rendered the decisions. Let's go to the scorecards. Judge number one scores the fight 30-25. Judge number two scores the bout 30-27. And judge number three scores the bout 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Jose Okay, I'm here with the winner, Jose Perez. Jose, congrats on a fantastic victory. They, uh, you were all over him with different submission to submission. Were you surprised at his ability to get out of all those spots? I don't know how much of a curse word this is, but hell yeah. Underestimated him a lot. He was a dog. 502 MMA, you got my respect. You guys did awesome. Man, now, we were really impressed with his ability. You, He was getting dominated a lot of the fight and you get out of your submissions and he came up with a couple good submission attempts on you were they close at all the arm bar at the end was a little slipper than i'm used to i was for sure a little caught off guard by that one <laughs> he almost got me a little bit yeah that was nice um what can we see from me next would you like to fight for us again and if so who would you like to fight you look fantastic out there <laughs> i'm really trying to prove that i'm on another level so that means i have to fight those guys that you guys consider to be on another level. And that's really what I'm trying to do, is get to those people as fast as possible and beat them. Well, you look fantastic. I can't wait to see you fight again. Jose, thank you, congratulations.